What's up Penguin fans, Anthony Romo here with another edition of our weekly interviews here with the Youngstown State Volleyball team. Glad to be joined for the second time this year with Josie Borm. Josie, thanks for joining me. Of course. So a lot has happened since the last time we talked. I believe the last time we spoke was right after the tournament, the 3-4 team tournament to begin the season. You guys started the year off on a very strong note. You were named all tournament team. Now you guys are one game over 500 heading into the final weekend of the season two big matches against Northern Kentucky and Wright State. Before we get into that, I want to go back to the beginning of the year and the first time we spoke real quick. You guys came out hot, yeah. won your first two matches on the first day of the tournament. When you were going into that first day, did this team kind of just have that sense that this year was going to be a special year? Yeah, I think we just wanted to change the outcome of like what happened last year, and we have a lot of new people that also wanted to just change the program and help us to where we are now. And you talked about a lot of new people in this program. We had some recruits come in, some transfers come in for the squad this year. Collectively, how has everyone kind of meshed together on this team? I think we've meshed a lot uh, better than we have in like past years. Like we had preseason and we already started like playing together. Like we've been playing together for a while. And I think that really helped us like going into that first tournament, like you said. It has been quite the year for you, currently leading the country with 10 triple-doubles on the season, second most in the country, only has six, so I think it's safe to say you might finish the regular season <laughs> top of the country in that category. Um, you've pretty much done a little bit of everything this year for the team with, with the role of the offense kind of being switched up a little bit. I know it's benefited you statistically, but has your confidence kind of boosted with the way the offense has played this year? Yeah, I think it has. I mean, if I'm doing like poorly in one, like, certain aspect then I can pick it up in a different aspect and I think that really helps my confidence a lot. So heading into this final weekend of the regular season you guys currently riding a five match winning streak which has been pretty incredible because you guys have rode a couple long winning streaks this season which has been really fun to watch and I know the whole team has been together throughout the entire season. Last match last Friday was a four set victory against Robert Morris. Going back to that match just what were some of the things you think the team performed very well at? Um, I think we just worked together and we didn't let like a few like bad points get in our heads and we even if we got down like we picked ourselves up and just kept going. So now the fun part of this weekend, magic numbers one, you guys need one win or one Oakland loss to clinch your spot in the postseason conference tournament. You match up with Northern Kentucky Friday at six and then Wright State Saturday at four. Going into the Northern Kentucky match on Friday night, um, just what are some of the things the team has been kind of working on in practice this week to prepare yourselves for the final weekend? I mean, what we always work on, like not airing ourselves out of games and just kind of staying calm and doing what we do the best. And I think that will really help us like into Northern Kentucky and Wright State. And then being one of the leaders on this team, you've been here through all the rides of this, this squad the last few seasons. You talk about staying calm. I'm sure there's going to be... Maybe a little bit of nerves this weekend because it's such a big weekend for this program, looking to do something that you guys haven't done in quite a while. Um, like I said, as a leader of this team, what are some of the things that you think you can do this weekend to kind of keep everyone level-headed in the game? Yeah, I think I can just, like, I don't know, talk to them and, like, let, especially, like, the new people, like, let them know, like, it's fine to have nerves, but, like, we just got to do what we usually do. All right, Josie, well, thank you for joining me, and good luck this weekend. Thank you so much.